I have with me superstar Kamal Hassan. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome to India Today Television. My pleasure, ma'am. Uh, sir, I would like to ask you first about your can experience representing India. How was it? I mean, was there any biggest takeaway? India played a, a place. It always had a place in Cannes. Now it was in, in inverted commas, which is a proud moment, and it was long overdue. And even some of the uh, uh, officials at Cannes felt that all kinds of cinema should be shown. And there is another school who believe that only the truly uh, path-breaking cinemas should be shown in Cannes. Well, it, it, it's a debate which is still going on. I belong to both kinds of cinemas, so I was happy to be there. Sir, how was your experience shooting Vikram? You know, it was during the pandemic and uh... Talk to me about your behind the scenes and you were coming back to movies after four years. Yes, uh, I was away doing politics and I still am. And uh, um, I had a fantastic team right from production. Uh, this is the kind of team I've been dreaming of. This way, if you have things in place with experts in each field working and taking care of their uh, position and defending their positions properly and then the the product itself will become better but then the content has to be right written well all that happened this time i hope it happens more number of times we've been in production for 40 years and we've tried to keep the quality of films we do uh, and make it successful also Absolutely. I want to ask you about, uh, there's this one song in the film which has quoted controversy because of this one term that has been used. It's Undriyam. Undriyam could mean so many things, but one has to see the film. Why is the film in a song? Because it suits the film. Yeah. But we, we, are, we are naughty people, filmmakers, and <laughs> I'm a politician too. So punning is something we like to do. And this is nothing new. But uh, I think uh, India have, uh, has forgotten the word tolerant and has also forgotten the word criticism. There should be no criticism for what you do. Thank goodness that I'm not like that. I expect criticism for, for any of the films that I do. And I redeem myself, correct myself, depending on how sensible, justifiable the criticism is. So, but many are translating it or, you know, they are making sense of it as if the song are targeting the union government. Because that term means union. Every, every union government should be tar targeted, whatever party it belongs to. The state should look at it and comment, critique it. That's democracy. Any yes. government, anybody, whichever the party it is, I'm a centrist, so I will think like that. And you must let that kind of thinking grow and take that. That's the humility of leadership to take criticism when it comes and check it out whether it's justifiable Let's instead of just squashing or silencing it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back in time and trace your cinematic journey in India. You know, everybody knows that you started off as a child artist, but I would also want to know some anecdotes. You know, your first performance, breakthrough performance in 1975, then you won a national award, first national award in 1983. And then, uh, of course, you have given so many films, back-to-back -back hits, including uh, Chachi Char Subis, Indian, Vishwarupam, of course, there is uh, Appu Raja, Sadma, there are innumerable films that you've given. And I would want you to take us through all of, all of your me good memories and best memories from the film. Good memories are uh, easy to forget. It's only the bad ones you remember. <laughs> <laughs> good memories are good that has happened to you. You never say enough times, thank you for what you've received. I have had some of the best teachers one could get. I see people queuing up in front of engineering medical college, selling half their wealth to become a doctor, an engineer, whatever they want to be. 
But for me, my education came not only for free, but they paid me also. That's the kind of teachers I had from, uh, as a child actor, I was like a trained parrot. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even know I was moving with such great stars. It's only when I ro uh, lost my first two teeth, <laughs> my market as a child star <laughs> ended. And I was no more a child and I was growing up into a boy and then into a man. So those times I was an ordinary man and suddenly I realized how lucky I'd been as a child to rub shoulders, MGR, Shivaji. I've seen Shami Kapoor Sahib, though I was only a Tamil uh, film actor. They used to make those films in Chennai as well at that time. AVM produced uh, many Hindi films. Things were happening. Mohammad Rafi Sahib would be singing in AVM recording theatre. Yeah. I've seen all that and I didn't realize that Ghadi uh, Ghadi Mera Dil Dadkai, those, those uh, rushes, the other directors were watching and I used to walk in and watch it for free. Yeah. I didn't know what kind of dream world I lived in. Yeah. I, I longed for it and I went back as a technician because I wasn't sure oh, I wanted to be an actor at all. And I wanted to be a director. Then um, I befriended directors. I was a assistant director. Then I started writing as early as 18. Somebody was indulgent and he made me his assistant. And I was writing and he gave me even credits. And then Mr. Balchandra found me and brought the reluctant uh, actor out of me. People say that he discovered me. I say that he invented me. I never thought I'd be an actor. And uh, I w I've done 36 films with one director, my mentor, Mr. K. Balachandar, which, according to me, very few actors have done in India. And uh, th these awards, uh, my father, probably the whole family has that attitude. At 19, I got my first Filmfare Award. And I was very happy because they were, weren't sure that I was treading the right path. All uh, the rest of the family were highly educated and I wasn't, I was a high school dropout. So that uh, stigma was on me. And but they, uh, were they supportive of you? Uh, about the art? Yes, they were all connoisseurs of art. And some of them, if they had tried, could have become great artists as well. They didn't, they, they thought it, uh, not that they thought of it as infradig, they were interested in something else. So when I sent a telegram to my father to tell him, like, I was an Ari, couldn't even wait for her. In those days, you had to dial and wait and call for a trunk call. So I just sent him a telegram saying, I won the Filmfare Award. I'm 19. <laughs> I said. And he sent back a telegram. Excellent. Congratulations. When is Oscar? So <laughs> I was so deflated. And uh, that's, what, that's how you should look at uh, uh, awards as. The applause is even more worthy and greater. It goes away. It fades after some time, but it stays in your mind and gives you, it's an elixir, uh, equal or more than awards. And so um, uh, the industry gave me opportunity to write, produce, direct, films and uh, I'm grateful and uh, they think some believe that I'm good in it so I also believed in it and now I was actually coming to that because you've done direction you've acted in films sang songs choreographed danced did everything but is there any one favorite part of making a film that you enjoy the most the best part is watching it with the audience <laughs> uh, truly I'm not it's not a humble or a voice line. The best part about movie is when it's all complete and there's a, a captive audience watching your work, admiring it, even disliking it, but you'd, you'd like to see it with them. That, that's the greatest experience for me. Sir, I also want to know your very first meeting with Rajnikan, sir. I mean, it's more than 40 years, I'm assuming, that you yeah, have yeah, been yeah. friends. Yes. Have the dynamics changed between Nothing, both of you? No, no. As a matter of fact, it's improved. Uh, I had a very close friend of mine uh, who's no more now. 
he was like a brother to me. We, we, his name was Govind Rajan, but we used to call him Govind Hasan. He's become <laughs> a part of the family. And uh, he was also a lawyer like my brothers. So they also got along like a house on fire. So I, he was an elder to me. And suddenly one day during the uh, a film shooting, something, they said he was unwell. We used to meet almost every day. And then suddenly they pronounced that he's uh, got a malignant cancer. Cancer. So we, I didn't know how to take it. I was a little too young. I didn't understand then that death is part of life. And uh, it, for me, I was traumatized. And uh, I was doing a film with Mr. K. Baljandar at the time where I was the lead. There was another cameo performance in that role for which they had selected a person called Shivaji Rao, yeah. who is from the uh, local Chennai Film Institute, but from Bangalore. That's all I knew about him. Uh, I've said hello a couple of times. And his first shot was happening. And that day, my friend insisted on coming to the shooting because he was unwell, but you, you have this rare... Uh, remissions that he wants to come out of. And I said, you come. And he had a French beard at that time. Because my makeup man was the company makeup man, he, our conversation about Mr. Govind Rajan was so much. He made up Rajinikanth exactly like him. He also had straight hair. And that role, he was dying of cancer. Oh. So he wanted to know, hey, I like that guy, man. He's got style, Lou. What's the role he's playing? And I couldn't tell him. Somehow, the, all that emotion turned as affection for Rajini. I keep telling him that. So I think I transferred, superimposed that image of uh, a friend onto him. And it stuck. And we've been together. We, we, uh, we agree to disagree. But still, we are friends. Absolutely. Sir, uh, you have never... Uh shied away from speaking your mind. You have always been vocal about your opinion. I want to know your thoughts about the current language debate that is going on, especially at a time when, you know, RRR, KGF and Pushpa are doing so well. And if you see Hindi territory, these films are doing very well. So what are your thoughts on it? See, this idea of a country is a fantastic idea. We were princely states. Now we made it into a country. It, it's almost an impossible uh, thing if you ask somebody in 1911 or when the time this hotel was built in 1937. Nobody would have believed it as possible. We made it happen and we must keep, it, keep at it and continue with such a tradition. And this language issue is silly because it's juvenile to talk about such a diverse country and fight between the, the the strength of our country is that we communicate with each other yet we are different uh, and we have a single culture see a, a, a mosque a, a temple a church is common to all of india kashi is common for anybody in the south rameshwaram is common for anybody in the north religion unites it in spite of language, but you don't have to politicize religion. That's my complaint. And that's my critique on what is confusing the people now. Hate is the easiest thing to do. Loving takes time. Learn it from your mother. Learn it from Mother India. Sir, also because you've worked in so many regional films also. You've worked for Hindi cinema, you've worked for Telugu, you have Tamil and other various languages. I want to understand your uh, perspective, your thoughts on work ethics in each of the industry that you may have noticed. It keeps changing. Opulence and uh, abundance brings about certain amount of lethargy and laziness. When you have a tight budget, you work harder. We want your idea to get through onto the screen. I come from that background. So discipline is the only way to be. There's no other way. There's no margin for error. 
when you budget increase in there was margin margin for error in vikram but uh, the same producer who made the first film didn't have that first vikram which we made 36 years back we didn't have that margin of error so we were more disciplined than even this but i think just because we have money we don't have to squander it we'll have to be more and spend more time on the product instead of on life life will happen any time but spending time with the project that is bringing you money is very important that's a sign of a true craftsman whether you make shoes or cinema so what does a day look like in your life when you're not shooting for a film or you're not on a political assignment i watch films i'm a film fan I, i'm ever grateful to ott platforms because i can watch three films a day if i'm if i push myself i can watch about five films a day and not complain about it the next day they they don't they, it, it, it it's a it, it, it's a great heady feeling and you don't have a hangover <laughs> mm. sir i was also reading somewhere that you know initially you hesitated uh, entering politics but eventually in 2018 you started your own that's program. a mistake i'd like to confess i should have come when i was even much younger i would have been bolder i would have been in jail uh, but that doesn't matter but uh, i would have done the right thing but at least now i should do the right thing everybody should do it everybody should not necessarily enter politics but they should be aware of it i i said in another interview that you must take care of your politics like your bank account keep checking it is very important that we do it whatever your belief is whatever you belong to the right left or center like me it doesn't matter but keep checking it's very important that you keep an eye on politics because you are politics that's democracy going forward how do you see the political scenario of the country sir like the way i dream of it i want my dream to happen somebody else wants their nightmare to happen somebody else they don't have an idea as to what should happen and i'm more concerned about them they should be either con- consulted with converted and not be confused all right sir one last message that you want to give out to your fans and sir i would request you to just say one favorite dialogue of yours from vikram uh, what you can make out of the trailer is uh, what i can say are sambhalenge <laughs> is the thing in the film uh, that's the dialogue of a yodha when he goes to war he said yes we have done our best formidable opposition is there sambhalenge in tamil i say paathukalam in telugu i say chusukundam <laughs> so that's what i'm asking people to do keep sambhalo <laughs> keep an eye on politics whatever be your politics but keep an eye on it and uh, be clear about what you want and what is good for your life thank you Thank you so much sir for talking to us and joining us on India today. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Namaskar.